All right, guys. Normally here on Press Start, we don't get to touch sports games too much because normally, save for a niche type of audience in gaming. But as you all know, we have a big problem in the sports area of the gaming industry. So general question, what do you guys think are wrong with the sports genre today in gaming? Curse and stuff with you. Um, I think there's a lot. There's not enough done year to year the sports games as far as new features go. Explain. Well, I mean, <laughs> there was a point in time where Madden got super thin as far as like franchise mode. I still don't like. And, we're, we're t and like, I'm thinking that you're talking about when we went from the Xbox PS2 generation to the 360 PS3 generation. That's, that's what I'm talking about. I mean, the franchise mode on Madden 06, 05, 07, uh, it was. It was. It was so deep. It was, it was very it was deep. deep. You had a radio show. We had. Yeah. What was it was called EA Sports Radio with Tony Bruno. The Tony, Tony Bruno, Bruno show. Yeah. Oh. Tony Bruno. Show. <laughs> oh my lord, do I remember that? Yeah, yeah. but it, these, the and like the connected franchise was an improvement on the past uh, franchise modes, but it's still not. It doesn't satisfy me. I, I just don't think there's enough new features implemented. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is a sports games in general. Uh, yeah, I think you know other games are better than others. Um, 2K was I thought my player was really good, and then it, it kind of dropped off. Like it, it's it was it seems like you have a major improvement, and then it just plateaus, mm -hmm. and it or you know it goes on a decline. So. You know, it, it just varies title to title. Cool. Yeah. Cool. What you think? I mean, just going off what Kurt said, this like EA Sports, NBA 2K, like the My Player was really great, but then it just like kind of died off. Like you just said, it. Where did it go? It, yeah, it, I mean, it just disappears. It's like in Madden 10, they had the whole uh, halftime show and everything, and then okay, Madden 11. Yeah, Where's I that think at? Madden, yeah. Madden 10, 11, 12 were like almost the same game. Right. If you ask me. But I think 2K and FIFA have been doing a good job because they're already solid, but we still see they don't change enough from year to year to justify exactly. a $60 price tag. And that's the, well, my next topic was do you think, or do you guys think that sports games cost too much? And if they do, what's the solution for it? Yes, they cost too much. They absolutely. <laughs> Well, I, it's so tough to say. I mean, they don't think it because, like, when you put all right, when you put a title like Mad up against a game like, and Grant, they're two different genres, but Mad against something like Grant the Follow, how do you justify sixty dollars price tag for a sports game? Well, it's it's just Madden has a completely different demographic than most. Yeah, like, all sports games have a completely different exactly. demographic. They, they're aiming towards you know casual gamers and people who just love the sport. So it's not. It's a completely different demographic, and uh, I guess that's where. I mean, if people buy it at sixty dollars, it's not going to stop. Yeah, it's not going to stop. It's supply and demand. But I don't know. It's just when you put a game. Uh, I'm always looking at the price tag. When you when I'm looking at GameStop or whatever I'm looking at to buy my games, I'm looking at okay, I have the new Madden or the new 2K here for sixty bucks, and I have Grand Theft Auto or I have Assassin's Creed here for sixty dollars. Like you, you can't justify spending sixty dollars on a sports title and I don't know, just any other genre of, of gaming title. Just because, I don't know, I think the solution for that would be maybe I don't know, releasing a game one year for, I don't know, like 30 bucks. Or even if they want to do 60 bucks, but they didn't release another game for like the next three or four years or something. It just kept updating See, that, that would be title. the smart thing to do. That would be like, that way you can make improvements on the game. That would, you could actually tell the difference. Mm -hmm. But guess what? They're not going to do that mm -hmm. because you make more money releasing the game every and day. And I think, I think it would help if there was more competition because uh, we all know Madden bought oh, out the NFL that, license. Oh, that, 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 that was my next topic. <laughs> the, the Madden problem. And we already seen that NCAA football, college football is on the face of the planet right now. We don't. That, and that's one of my favorite football games of all time. Oh. And it's gone just because, you know, the EA was just having too many problems with the likenesses of college players and yeah. getting sued and everything, but we're not here for that. The Madden problem. Just, Curtis, just start it off. I just, I just <laughs> well, want to hear yeah. what you have to say. We all yeah. know, yeah, Madden bought, like, bought out the NFL license so no other company can, or developer can put out a, a, an NFL football game. And when that, that license is so important because 
uh, sports, like games like Backbreaker and <laughs> Blitz League just don't fly because Blitz sports League, fans Blitz want. Blitz League is a fun game, but we we'll But we'll sports, at the end of the day, sports fans want realism. Yeah, they, they, they want to play with their favorite players. Right, and, and so, and when there's no competition there, like ESPN NFL 2K5 <laughs> came out at $20. Yes. It was released at $20. And I remember that being so, so bizarre when I was, I think I was only like 10 years old at the time. It was so bizarre seeing it next to Madden at $20, but I mean, they made, it was, it's still considered one of the best football games to date. Exactly. And I think competition would definitely help improve the, like, just, Everything in sports games, it would you, it would force them to have to make more drastic changes. Competition helps everybody. Oh, competition. It helps everybody. But cool. What do you think about the main problem? I don't. <laughs> no. What do I think? Doesn't, he doesn't think what, about what, it. I don't. What's the last man you bought with your with your money? What's the like the last man yeah. I bought with my money? Oh my, good lord! Madden, uh, Madden twelve. Madden twelve. No, Madden thirteen. Is that one? Did you buy that? Was that, that Troy that, Paul Malu? No, 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 no. That's ten. That, you're thinking about the Calvin Johnson. You're one. thinking Calvin Johnson. Yep, that was ten then. But I don't know. Like I said, I, I agree with the with the notion of having a sports game come out one year, maybe update it because we are we are seeing they can update the players week to week, and right. our, and yeah. they can they can easily make a, a draft class within I don't know a month or so. So right. I know that's not hard to do, and. Just the lack of features from year to year doesn't justify a sixty dollars price tag every year. But like we said, people keep buying them. Like myself, um, I am a, I am a vic not a victim, but I am part of the problem too. So <laughs> we, you're you are, yeah, you're we, a we victim. as, a, you're we a as a consumers you're... keep buying these sports games at sixty dollars a pop every year. So it's not going to get any better. But thanks, guys. I mean, hopefully, sometime in the future, our sports games get better. But uh, I don't, I don't, I don't see it. I doubt it. There's no light in the tunnel for, for this problem. Unless so. 2K gets back in the NFL yeah. Game. I mean, unless unless he gives up that license, um, we're doomed. So, <laughs> I don't know. We we'll just have to see in the future where sports titles go. Lines up here. First and goal from the eight. Off the middle. 